Olivia, won't you get in trouble for wallpapering your room? Oh, no. My mom said she wanted to make the house nice for my grandma's visit. And since my grandma loves flowers, I thought, why not put them on the wall? It's perfect! Grandma's going to love it! Olivia? What happened in here? I'm filling my room with flowers for Grandma. I have some wallpaper left over. Want me to do your bedroom? Maybe some other time. We've got to get your room cleaned up first. Why don't you start moving some of your things into Ian's room? Why? I'm staying here in my room with Grandma. Honey, Grandma's our guest and we want to make her feel comfortable. She'll sleep in here by herself, and you'll get to stay in Ian's room. Won't that be fun? Ian's room? <sighs> Ugh, something smells in here. Hmm. Stop! I don't want my room to smell like a girl. Well, I don't want to sleep in a room that smells like socks. Hmm, let's see. My steamer trunk can go in that corner, and I guess I can set up my easel and paints right here. You bringing all that stuff in here? Of course, but there won't be any room for my stuff. Ian, Mom said you're supposed to make guests feel comfortable, and I would be very comfortable if you made room for my things. Yes, Ian. Olivia's bringing all her stuff into my room and spraying stinky perfume and telling me I have to put away all my toys. Where do you want your ribbon collection, Olivia? Over there, please. Thanks, Julian. Olivia, Ian is very nicely sharing his room with you. And that doesn't mean you can turn it into your room. But, Mom... It's only for a couple of days. That's practically forever. Mom! Ian has fleas! Look! There's no way I can stay in a room with fleas. I don't see any fleas, Olivia. They're very small. Look harder. What happened to the blackberry jam that was in this jar? It was empty when I found it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Excuse me! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Here. I cannot stay locked up in this castle with my brother for another minute. What are you doing? I'm looking for a secret passage. Castles have lots of them. I've never seen one. That's because they're secret. <gasps> I found it! See you later. Let me come. Why? I thought you liked it here. I do, but if you're going to leave, then I want to leave too. Rule of life number 49. Little brothers always want the same things you want. Whoa, check out the spiders. Ew. I think I'll find another way out. Olivia, Ian, Grandma's here. <gasps> Grandma? Hello, kids. can't get enough of my little Ian. I'm not little anymore, Grandma. Well, does that mean you're too big for kisses? Guess so. Oh, what am I saying? No one is ever too big for kisses. <laughs> Grandma, yuck! Now, where is my Olivia? Here I am, Grandma. <gasps> I like your outfit. Now that's style, darling. <laughs> okay, kids. Time for me to teach you my latest dance moves. I can't wait! 
Okay, now listen to the beat and move those little feet. It your own. That's it, Olivia. You are a natural. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Olivia. I love the new wallpaper. Thank you. Did you need something? I forgot my, uh, ear ribbons. What about the ribbons you're wearing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good night. I just remembered. I forgot my favorite slippers. You know, I might be a little lonely all by myself. Do you think you could bunk in here with me? Really? You wouldn't mind? I'd be delighted. Yes! And I know just the thing to make this sleepover extra special. Why don't you get cozy in bed? I'll be right back. One Sunday, two spoons. You're the best grandma in the whole entire world. I always said you had good taste. Do you always have ice cream before you go to sleep? Oh, no. Only on special occasions. Usually, I end my day by thinking back to my favorite parts of the day. That way, I only have happy thoughts before I go to sleep. Give it a try. What was your favorite part of today? Well, I liked the pancakes I made for breakfast. And I liked it when William threw his cereal. But I think my favorite part is this. This ice cream sundae? No. Being with you. Good morning, darling. Hi, Grandma. <sighs> I wondered where you got off to. I'm usually the early bird around here. Uh, well, I slept in Ian's room. You did? Why? Ian was sad I wasn't sleeping in his room. But please don't tell him that I told you. I wouldn't dream of it. So it's okay with you if I don't sleep in here? Of course. Besides, you know, you talk in your sleep. I couldn't sleep a wink. Now, come here. I'll show you some Tai Chi moves. <laughs> <laughs> the princess found the missing pineapple, and they all lived happily ever after. You always tell the best stories, Grandma. Do you have to go home tomorrow? I'm afraid so, but... At least you'll get your room back. What was your favorite part of today? This. Telling that story? No, being with you. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Grandma. Concert on the calendar myself. 
Of course. I see you've picked your favorite color. That's so we won't forget. Mom, what's this red heart for? Father's and my anniversary. It's a day we were married, so we always celebrate it. Really? Are we having a party? I know a really good game we could play. It's called Guess What This Dance Is Called. I made it up. Watch. Now you try it. Oh. <laughs> that might be better for another party. We're just going to go out to a restaurant to celebrate our anniversary. Oh. Maybe the people at the restaurant will want to play the game with us. Sorry, honey. I meant to say Daddy and I are going out to dinner. You and the boys will be staying home. Just me and the boys? Tonight, boys, since I'm in charge, we will be having a very special dinner. Olivia style. So please, have a seat. Where? How can we have dinner if there's not any food? Be patient, Monsieur Ian. First, I need to set the mood. My stomach is growling. What are we going to eat? Ta-da! <gasps> no way, cupcakes. I wish you could be in charge all the time, Olivia. Maybe you should mention that to Mom and Dad. Yes, you and the boys will be home with the babysitter. Grandma's coming? No, Grandma's away on one of her adventures. <sighs> we have to find someone else. I'm meeting with several people this afternoon to find just the right person to stay with you. As you can see by my credentials, I have taken care of children for 33 years. <laughs> well, that's quite a relief. You must enjoy your job. Tremendously. He smells like soap. That can't be a good thing. Shh. I want to hear what she says about bedtime. How do you feel about schedules, Mrs. Berkshire? Oh, I believe in keeping to a very strict schedule. First, a very small dinner, so as not to upset young tummies, followed by a long bath. I knew it. And naturally, I stick to the one book per night rule. Only one book? Who said that? Oh, I didn't see that cat. That's just Edwin. He never moves. I'm Olivia. Only one book? Sometimes I have 11 or 12 books at bedtime. Olivia? Perry! Oh! Give me back my airplane! <laughs> Oops. Sorry, uh, Perry likes to chew the children's toys. Really, there's no need to explain. Twelve books at bedtime. Cats, little boys wrestling with dogs. Uh, I'm afraid to inform you that I'm no longer interested in the job. Well, tell me about yourself, Lily. Do you have experience babysitting children? Oh, sure, lots. I love kids. As a matter of fact, I have 15 cousins. <laughs> well, actually, some of them aren't real cousins, but, you know, they're friends of the family. Let's see, um, well, I'm 15. I go to River Valley High. Raw, raw, River Valley, River Valley High! <laughs> you know the cheer? Uh, do, do you think you can handle two children and a baby? Well, I once took care of three kids and their pet lizard, which was really gross. The lizard, not the kids. <laughs> Do you think kids should be allowed to jump on the furniture? Who are you? This is my daughter, Olivia. Olivia, please apologize to Lily for scaring her. Sorry, Lily. I like your outfit. Oh, you do? Thanks. I like yours, too. She's perfect. You should hire her. Don't you have any more questions? I do. Ah! Do you like dogs? <laughs> oh, no. Let me guess. You're no longer interested in the job? Uh, well, it's just that, uh... <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. I had no luck finding a babysitter, so I canceled our reservation for dinner tonight. Well, then, we'll just celebrate our anniversary at home this year, honey. Celebrate at home. Ian, we 
we have to make our restaurant just like the fancy restaurant where Mom and Dad were supposed to go for their anniversary. And I can make them my special peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. We just need a centerpiece. What's that? What fancy places have on the table for decoration, like shells or flowers or... How about a flying saucer? Ian, that's not a good centerpiece. Why not? It makes ten different sounds. Of course! It'll be like they're having dinner on a whole new planet! <laughs> Table for two? I think you'll enjoy the view. On Planet Olivia! What a beautiful restaurant. Ooh, I can see the entire solar system. If you look past that little pink planet and count three stars over, you'll see our planet, Earth. You're right, there it is. Planet Olivia Cheese Toast? It was voted best in the universe. And such an appealing color. All the food is red on Planet Olivia. And now for your entertainment. This is the best anniversary ever. And that's not all. I saved the best for last. What are you doing here? <laughs> you didn't think I was going to let you stay home on your anniversary, did you? But I thought you were away climbing Mount Everest. Oh, Mount Everest can wait. It's not going anywhere. Now you two better scoot if you're going to make your reservation. But I canceled... We're back on for, oh, 20 minutes from now. Then double scoot. Happy anniversary. Bye. Bye-bye, kids. Listen to Grandma. Now that my flying saucer doesn't have to be a centerpiece, I can play with it. Centerpiece? What's that all about? I wanted to do something special for Mom and Dad's anniversary, so I made them a restaurant outside. Ah, and now that I'm here to babysit you, you don't get to show them your surprise. Oh, Grandma, I didn't mean it like that. They're the best babysitter ever. Well, maybe there's some other surprise you can do for your Mom and Dad when they get home. Or... We could go to the restaurant and surprise them there. I like the way you think. Here's the restaurant. It's not like I imagined. Me neither, but I'm sure it has its charms. Grandma, do you think... <laughs> I'll ask the owner. Surprise! Surprise! What in the world? Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! Yay! Way to go, Mom! Way to go, Dad! We've been coming to this place every year since we met. I hope you don't mind us crashing your party. Mind? Not at all. In fact, I think from now on we'll all be coming back here on our anniversary, huh? Sit down, everyone. Come on. <sighs> if it's okay with you, I'll just have one book tonight. One book? Is this my Olivia? It's just that I'm really, really tired. Well, then you really, really need to go to sleep. And thank you for that wonderful anniversary surprise. Did you like it? I loved it. Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Livy. Night. Nothing like watching a parade from the comfort of your own couch. I want to play 
play that huge drum. Look at the floats. And the majorettes. I'd like to be the one twirling the baton. like that at our town. Ian, let's have our own parade. Yeah! Julian, you could be the marching band. Do you have your drumsticks? What do I do? Play the cymbals. I'm the majorette, and this is my baton. Now all together. things for the parade. Hmm. Quiet things, quiet things. Penance! Penance. Penance are quiet. Just needs a little glue. Perfect. Uh-oh. It's stuck! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Mom, I need a little help. <laughs> Olivia, I asked you to keep the noise down. Rule of life number 14. If you wake your baby brother up from a nap, sometimes he'll get upset. And sometimes your mother will, too. Maybe he'd like some fresh air. Okay, let's take it from the top. The symbols are too loud, Ian. But can you do tricks on your tricycle? Okay, Parade. Get ready to march. One, two, three, go! brother is trying to nap. What are you guys doing? We're having a parade. Want to be in it? What kind of parade? A fabulous parade. But we have to be very quiet. The parade will begin here. I'll be in the front twirling my baton. Julian will be leading the drummers here. Ian, you'll ride your tricycle here. And Francine, you can pull the float back here. I think the parade should have clowns in it. I'm not really 
a clown person. Really. I'm a clown person. I'll just have to lead my own parade. With clowns. Come on, Alexandra. Don't worry. Our parade will be much better. How are you kids doing? Great. Mom, you should take William for a drive. He always falls asleep in the car. Oh, I wish I could, but I have too much work to catch up on. And besides, I wouldn't want to miss the parade. Okay, let's decorate the float. Excuse me, Olivia. My parade needs to get through. We've got a permit for this parade route. That's a blank piece of paper. So it is. Well, we thought of the parade first. first. Ready. are better than one. Trust me on this one. Come on, let's join parades. Okay, but I'm not changing out of my clown costume. Let the parade begin. Follow my lead, everybody. Too? Why not? He's not sleeping anyway. William says, let the parade begin! That was a wonderful parade you had today. And thank you for getting William to sleep. <sighs> I think I'm only gonna have a parade once every five years, because there's so much work. I think that's a very good idea. No books tonight, Mom. Wow, you must be tired. I'll have double books tomorrow. Night. Night, Olivia. One, two, three, eyes on me. Now, in a few days, our class will be hosting Parents' Night. So, I'd like us to put on our thinking caps and come up with a fun activity for the evening. Harold, got an idea? 
We can have a finger paint party. Only, you have to paint with your feet. <laughs> Thank you, Harold. I'll keep that in mind. Anyone else? Oscar? Otto? How about everybody come to school in pajamas? The kind with feet. But how will we paint with our feet if they're stuck inside pajamas? Well, then I guess we'll have to save both suggestions for another time. <gasps> Olivia, what fantastic idea do you have for us? I was thinking we can make our own carnival. <gasps> we could have games and rides and prizes. <laughs> and come see the best, the biggest, the most fun carnival ever made! What a fantastic idea! We'll have a carnival for parents' night. Olivia, how would you like to be in charge? With my supervision, of course. Now, let's get to work. So then, I put everyone in groups of three to make up their own booth or game. Very efficient. And Mrs. Hogenmuller said that I can make up my very own special attraction. I know. You should make a game where you have to catch real fish with your bare hands. <laughs> Who would play that? I would. Thanks, Ian, but I want to keep thinking. Okay, here's a better idea. You could dress up Perry as the first alien dog from outer space. You know, Ian, maybe your class will have its own carnival next year. Yeah, so save those good ideas for then. But I'll forget them all by then. <laughs> Rule of life number 33. If you're not careful, you might get talked into dressing up your dog as an alien. <laughs> How are you guys doing with the ring toss? Oh, sorry, Olivia. But I decided that was much too boring. So we changed it to a pin the nose on the clown game. We love clowns, with or without noses. What do you think, Olivia? I like it. But what if you did something like... <laughs> what a great idea. Thanks, Olivia. Double thanks. Hi, guys. I can't wait to see what you're working on. It's a ride. We call it the Rolly Twisty Tunnel Ride. Watch. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. It, it makes you kind of dizzy. <sighs> but I really want to use this tunnel in our ride. Looks like fun to me. But it might be even more fun if you try. Whoa, I can't wait to try it. Me either. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. Good luck. Hi. So, your attraction is the world's largest frog. <laughs> See? He looks pretty big next to these toys. He won't be doing that on parents' night, will he? Because my mom freaks out at frogs. Your attraction is really great. But I wonder if this might make it even better. Can you whisper it again? It's hard to pay attention when there's a frog on your head. Olivia, everyone is so thrilled with your suggestions. It looks like you're doing an excellent job as carnival director. Thank you, Mrs. Hagenmuller. And how's your own special attraction coming along? Well, I've had lots of ideas, but I haven't decided which one should be the extra special attraction. Well, don't worry, dear. Great ideas have a way of sneaking up on you. <gasps> Boys, those pies are for the pie throwing contest, not for eating. Sorry, Mrs. Hagenmuller. Okay, Dad. Here's how my extra special attraction is going to work. Hmm, classic design, very scientific. Pushes, pulls. Hmm. 
Olivia, can we see your extra special top secret attraction now? Yes, Olivia, what's under the sheet? Only the soon to be most talked about, most picture taken of, world famous, most amazing attraction ever built. Show us, Olivia. Sorry, sorry, but it's not ready for the public yet. You'll have to come back tomorrow at parents' night. Aww. You just might need a little help. Why don't you ask the boy standing next to you? You're being kind of a pest. Pest? I do not know the meaning of that word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can help. Come on, robot boy. We've got a lot of work to do. See you later, parents of Robot Boy. <laughs> robot Boy. Welcome to Parents' Night, parents. Our carnival director will introduce all of the attractions. Olivia? Thank you, Mrs. Hogenmuller. Folks, follow me over to our first attraction, which was made by Francine, Oscar, and Otto. It's the one, the only, amazing clown beanbag toss. Would someone care to try it? I would. <laughs> Mom, you won! You got a clown doll for a prize! Oh, I'm so happy! Here we have bouncy beach ball bowling. All you have to do is throw a ball through the rolly, twisty tunnel and out the other side to knock down these bowling pins. Julian, will you demonstrate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And step right this way, ladies and gentlemen, and see the most strange animal of all time. The last living dinosaur, the Frogosaurus. Watch it climb up this tall building. It's okay, Mom. It doesn't bite. <laughs> and for our last attraction... Welcome to Olivia's Spectacular Funhouse! I couldn't have done it without my little brother, Ian. She's right. She couldn't have. <laughs> oh, Ian. <laughs> now, watch carefully as the Hall of Mirrors transforms an ordinary boy into... Hello, welcome to Olivia and her brother Ian's fun house. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Parents, enjoy the carnival. I really want to show you my new idea for a carnival booth. I would love to look at your idea, Olivia, in the morning. But my idea glows in the dark. So it's really best if we talk about it at night, like now. Your idea will be there in the morning. Good night, Olivia. Sweet dreams, honey. Good night, Mom. Packed, Olivia? Oh, most done. It's just for the weekend, dear. But, Mom, I never know what I might need. Of course, I'll need my best toy. Of course. Ian, 
you don't need to bring food. But this is my... Grandma will have plenty of food for us. No, this is... It's what grandmothers do. This is my suitcase. That's it? Yep. Will they let you on the plane with all that? They'll have to. But what if they don't? Not let me fly? My first time on a plane? Are you kidding? Dad, I'm ready. Kids, I've got some bad news. There's a big storm moving in and our flight has been canceled. Looks like we're driving to Grandma's. Driving? I'm afraid so, Olivia. <sighs> there must be a plane we can take. Welcome aboard Air Olivia, a fancy flight. Olivia, it's time to go! Hey, Olivia. Getting ready to take off? Yeah, but not in a plane. We're driving. Too bad. Lucky I brought these. Walkie talkies? Excellent! Testing, one, two, three. Come in, Olivia. Do you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. All aboard, kids. Bye, Julian. I get the side with the snacks. They're in the middle. Uh, that's William. A front middle. I'm approaching the vehicle. I'm entering the vehicle. I'm now inside the vehicle. Over. Roger that. Here we go. <laughs> Are we there yet? Honey, how can we be there if we haven't left the driveway? <laughs> My brother poked me. Roger, will do, over and... You're breaking up. I can't hear. Olivia, copy, over, Olivia. That was Ian, my little bother, over and out. I bet you wish you'd taken that plane to your grandma's, over and out. Hmm. Welcome aboard Air Olivia's flight to grandma's. Ian, are we there yet? No. <laughs> See you later. Just a few more hours. Oh, please let it be true. Traffic control. Have a great flight. I know the passengers are in good hands with you, Captain Olivia. Does anyone have to use the bathroom? I do. Pit stop. Uh, 
for the two of you to share. Can I have some? Sure, you can have the bottom half. But I like the red part at the top. So do I. <laughs> just, uh, just one yeah, bite. Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. No, no, careful with the... Oh. <laughs> <sighs> we'll never get to Grandma's. It would have been so much better to fly. Here on Air Olivia, everyone, even pesky little bothers, travels in style. Sweet dreams. Would you like to enjoy a movie? Hey, I don't suppose you have any... Popcorn? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is by far the most wonderful flight I've ever taken. Thank you, Mom. I mean, happy customer. Time to begin landing. Buckle up, everyone. We're directly above Grandma's house and starting our descent. All right, co-pilot. Time for me to land this bird. Hey, guys. How's it looking up ahead? <gasps> Some rain clouds ahead? I better go around them. This is Captain Olivia speaking. I want to thank you for flying with us today. And always remember to travel. Air Olivia, a fancy flight. Are, Are we there, there yet? yet? Are we there yet? Yes. yes. <laughs> But you'd never get here. Me too. How was the drive? A little tiring. <laughs> Olivia? Not for me. I flew. <gasps> How grand. Come on in. I want to hear all about it. <sighs> <sighs> mm. Well, Olivia, you made it through the car trip. <sighs> Book time? Not tonight, sweetie. I think we're all too tired. Then two books tomorrow. I'll make it three. Really? How about four? Don't push your luck, Missy. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. 